hey you guys welcome back to another clean with me video today I'm gonna be doing a three-part spring clean with me it's time to get some of the dust off these vents and also change up some of the textiles to go along with the kitchen and also the dining room decor you guys so I'm gonna be sprucing up this room to start off and getting ready for spring I'm going to be starting off in the guest bedroom. This bedroom doesn't really get used a lot. I've been actually using it mostly for homeschooling the kids. As you can see, there's a chair over there um, by the end table. And we kind of use this as an overflow room when the kids need to take a break or take a test and have some quiet time. But I do like to keep it up to date with the seasons. And so I'm just going to take off the sheets. And I also spray them down with Lysol and some scented spray. I have peppermint from Mrs. Myers today and also I put some baking soda on the mattress and let that soak in for a couple of hours I try to do this once a year to get some of those odors and kind of stale smell out of here and I'll come back later and vacuum it up So if this is your first time here, thank you for joining my channel. I am Courtney Anderson and this channel is focused around everything that goes on with my family, mostly cooking, cleaning, and DIY. So I try to give you guys a little bit of motivation to get it all done. It's so hard to really find time and motivation for that matter. And so I hope that when you look at my channel, you find ways to get creative and get a little motivation to get things done because I get motivated from you guys as well. And it's so important out here that we motivate each other it takes a village you guys and so I hope that I can be a part of your village the way that you guys have been a part of mine if this is some stuff that you like to watch on YouTube make sure you hit that subscribe button it will mean so much to me so I'm actually going to be putting some sheets on that I got from Zulily. I like to peruse Zulily all the time. They have really good deals on cheap sheets like this. Um, some stuff that you can put in your bedroom or a spare bedroom like this. This sheet set was actually $20. And I believe I got this at the end of last spring. And I was so excited to put it on this spring. So I have these sheets all washed up and ready to go. And it's going to refresh this room and give it a nice spring feel. Are you made up of for real? Say, can you feel what I feel? Cause I can tell if I'm just dreaming. I wish I had a girl like you and I. These pillows I actually got from Zulily as well. They were pretty cheap, but I've had these a little over a year and so I don't remember how much I paid for them but they have so much cute reasonably priced home decor you guys and so I love going on there especially on the weekend they have the best deals to me and you can find so many cute things for your household on there if you just stay you know perusing the site and making sure you check checking back every couple of days and also the comforter or the duvet that I'm going to put on here a down comforter I actually got from them and I thought that it wasn't going to be available for this video and it actually came right on time and I got that down comforter for them for about $75 I think and that was a really good price for the quality of the comforter and so that's going to give this room a nice refresh as well and I'm going to pop that in the dryer and show you guys what that looks like in just a second. While the comforter is in the dryer getting the wrinkles off, I'm going to get started on my next spring cleaning item, you guys, which is to get some of this dust and build up from the heater off of the grates, the vents. And I do this about once a season because this builds up really easily, especially in some rooms more than others. And so I just have that brush attachment going on my rocket, my shark rocket, and the pieces detach and attach really easily. And so I just got up there on a ladder and got that suction out and it looks so much better it makes a huge difference I 
And so here I'm just using the main extension piece on the shark vacuum and that helps me to reach up to my tall ceilings. I am standing on a ladder that we have in our bedroom and it's a decorative ladder but I bought it to be functional because I knew that we would need to get up there for the cable box in the bedroom and also for times like this. So this comes in really handy. And of course you cannot forget to do the ceiling fans you guys this collects so much dust I try to do this two or three times a year but especially after winter when the heater is on you have to get all of this dust this gets so much allergens into your house and it just really makes it hard to breathe sometimes if you let this pile up And so to do the fans over couches or my bed, I just get one of the old sheets and this is the one I just took out for the winter and I kind of drape it over the ladder and everything and I let the dust fall onto the sheet and once it does that, I take it to a window or out to the balcony and I just get the dust out that way. So it, I kind of roll it up into the sheets so the dust doesn't fly onto the floor or onto the white comforter. Or duvet cover and this works pretty well because I'm gonna be washing this sheet anyway and so I just roll it up and take it outside now I'm gonna be finishing up this laundry that I've got laying around and get this taken care of so this was a full three days, you guys, just getting some stuff done here or there. And I kind of put it all into one video, but I had to keep coming back. I mean, spring cleaning, I always say you can't do the stuff that you usually do and then add in more stuff and think to get it done in the same amount of time, you guys. So just find ways to balance out the time. I try to set a limit on what I'm going to do for the day. That helps me to clean and also music. So a lot of times I'm playing music in the background or even having my headphones on, either talking to someone like my husband or my mom on the phone and kind of multitasking because honestly these days, you guys, a phone call to me is almost a chore. And so I try to find ways to call people that I haven't called in a while and see how they're doing, but also um, get it done while I'm multitasking with something else. And it makes a huge difference or listen to some music and music really motivates me. So I try to put a really good playlist on these videos to help motivate you guys as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments. If you like the music, if you want a different genre, I mean, I like pretty much any kind of music. So whatever you guys want to hear, I'm totally open to it. Now that I'm finished dusting, I'm going to go ahead and wash off my Swiffer duster and you just slide the pieces off like this and throw it into the washing machine just like anything else. And when it comes out, I let it air dry and it's ready to go for the next time I need to dust those fans off.
And now I'm just using that Mrs. Myers cream cleanser around the sink. I love the way it gets the stainless steel and appliances so clean and bright. And I like Windex for my mirrors. I just haven't found anything better than Windex. I just love the old school classic Windex. And so that's pretty much what I do every week is to scrub around the sink because that buildup and grind happens so quickly. If you guys haven't checked out my video where I cleaned the overflow valve in the tub, it was gross. And so I'm not going to let my um, crevices get that bad anymore. So I have to stay on top of it. And here I'm just using the method toilet bowl cleaner and again the Windex in the shower because it gets the glass so shiny and sparkly and I always wash the glass on the inside with the Mrs. Myers cream cleanser first and then I come back with the Windex and it gives it a nice sparkling shine and my husband can always tell when I've cleaned the bathroom because the window um, to the shower is so clear and you can see straight through it and I'm always messing with him when he's taking a shower and I always switch out the towels that's why you saw me bring that big load of towels even though I just folded towels now I have more towels once I switch out our dirty ones for clean ones and so I put both of us some clean towels up to get ready um, for a new clean day to start for tomorrow I have switched out our bathroom scents. So right now it's Honeysuckle by Mrs. Myers, and that's the yellow container that you see there. So I do try to keep the soaps and the scents really fresh as well. And I'm going in with that squirt and mop that I've been using lately, the Ginger Yuzu, which is also another really kind of fresh um, flowery scent. And I just try to keep it seasonal with my colors and my scents always, even with my clothes. And so I'm gonna be doing the clothes on another spring cleaning video I'm not looking forward to it but I do change out my wardrobe as well and so today I'm going to get into my daughter's room I usually don't clean the kids rooms because the kids are responsible for cleaning their own rooms and they do a pretty good job but today since I had the vacuum cleaner out I wanted to get in here and vacuum my daughter's room and also spot check how she's been cleaning her bathroom because they are responsible for cleaning their own bathrooms every week and it's usually on Sunday and so I have to come in and spot check her to make sure that she's doing what she needs to do because she's still pretty young um, I would like to get rid of a lot of stuff in her room but I really just can't because she plays with all of it and it kind of drives me crazy that she has toys from wall to wall but it's okay I guess that's what's expected at this age where have you been it's like I waited all my life so happy that I found you I'm paper thin I haven't always been this shy but haven't felt this in a while now so sad when we are apart If you leave, you break my heart I need you To need me too Stay with me when it's getting dark Hold me tight, close in your arms I want you To want me too Her tub was pretty clean and so I'm just going in with some Lysol spray to get some of the surfaces wiped down but she's been doing a pretty good job and she doesn't need an abrasive scrubber like the Mrs. Myers. I use that in my tub because I use so many oils and they build up and create like residue around the tub but her tub was pretty clean so I just wiped it down with some Lysol cleaner and I'm just going to go in and make sure her toilet is clean as well they are responsible for cleaning their own toilets because it makes sure that they don't make a big mess around the toilet if they have to be the ones responsible for cleaning it and so i was pretty proud that she's been doing a pretty good job in her bathroom Just need to tell you. 
So this was my last day of spring cleaning this week. This was a Sunday and I always get up and get started on Sundays because we do a lot of Bible study on Sunday and the kids get to have a big breakfast and they wanted grits this day. And so I'm gonna get started fixing them some grits. I actually have a new faucet in the kitchen because the old one um, burst, the spray handle burst. And so my husband went out and got a new one and I'll be showing that to you guys in a little bit as well. But this is a Sunday and it was my last day of the week to kind of get some deep cleaning done. And so I was really excited to get this refrigerator started. The last time I did it was around Christmas. I did a video on how I deep cleaned the shelves, pulled them out, got between the crevices. And today I'm not gonna do that, but I am going to go in and remove everything off the shelves and get some of this spillage and wipe everything down. So I have to do this about every three months to make sure it stays kind of neat and tidy in here. And here I am just using the Mrs. Myers Everyday Clean Multi-Surface Cleaner. And I think this is the basil scent. And so the multi-surface cleansers work really well on surfaces like inside the refrigerator. So I usually use that to clean the refrigerator out and it works pretty well. So now that the inside of the refrigerator is clean, I'm just going in with this Wyman stainless steel cleanser. I do like this for some of my stainless steel appliances, but it doesn't work for all of them. And I'm cleaning out this overflow compartment for the refrigerator where we get the water out of the refrigerator. This holds some of the spillage and I haven't cleaned this in a while and it had a lot of buildup. So I'm just putting some of that Dawn Power Wash which helps with a lot of stuck on tough stains on your pots and pans and this worked pretty well. And so I have heard that the e-cloths like I have right here on the sink work really good for stainless steel. But again, to me, it doesn't work on all stainless steel. So depending on what kind of stainless steel appliance you have will kind of dictate what kind of product you can use on it. Sometimes just a cloth and water works, but sometimes I do have to put some elbow grease in with the Wideman cleaner. I love the reach on this new sink or this new spout that we have in the kitchen. And so since we don't have a sprayer on the side, we have the sprayer attached. We had an empty slot and we decided to go with the appliance piece or the piece that had 
the soap dish on the side and I thought it was really really cute it would have been awesome if it were on the left side where we mostly wash the dishes but this was so cute I'm loving this and I'm gonna fill this up with some Mrs. Meyers everyday clean dish soap and I just used a funnel to stick it in there and now we have soap where we can put dish soap on the rag or the sponge or even wash our hands as we're cooking and so this is going to come in really handy and I actually love it and now I don't have to take my mop bucket to the bathroom anymore I can fill up the mop bucket with that long extender extender spray that we have and so now I'm going in I'm going to do the blinds and so what I do with these blinds because they're vinyl look how nasty they are I use a degreaser actually and I've read so many people use very things and I found that a degreaser works the best and so that's what I'm going to be using today I use the easy off brand and you can find that at every major grocery store and after that I come in and wipe the windows off with some Windex and I actually flip them inside out to get the outside surface of the window as well this way I don't have to remove the screen and then I'll go in and clean up some of the dust and cobweb that accumulates at the bottom of the window sill and then I'm going to go outside and change up the patio or balcony um, cushions on the chairs out there and get them ready for spring colors and get those windows cleaned up while I'm out there as well. I had to finally get this trash can cleaned off because there were so many crumbs that had built up inside of the hinges and I just couldn't get it off by wiping it and so I decided to take it outside and spray it down with the force spray on the water hose and that did the trick you guys. It got this garbage can almost like new and I'm so excited but I know that it's only going to be a matter of hours before more, more crumbs accumulate but that's okay. I just had to get it clean this day and now I'm going to go ahead and clean off the stove. Sometimes I use the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser here if I have a lot of stuck on gunk but today I don't so I'm just going to go in with some more of that easy off degreaser that I was cleaning the blinds with and also make sure you get your handles you guys because this gets really grimy under here and so making those handles sparkle makes a big difference but be careful one time I was wiping pretty hard somewhere around here and I sliced my finger and I don't know how I think it was one of those open grates um, right there but anyway this is um, something that you have to get you guys it makes a big difference when you're cleaning up your stove And this is the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser and I make sure at least once a week I'm trying to get into all these crevices but every time I'm at the sink I do this but the boys actually wash dishes a lot during the week especially after dinner when I have to go start logging into work and I know they don't do this part but whenever I'm here like on a Sunday doing my deep clean in the kitchen I make sure I get under here and the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser works really well inside of the sink and even down into the garbage disposal 
um, it gets everything all the grime and little bits up really easily and I go ahead and switch out my sponges because the boys won't do it they'll just keep using the same sponges over and over again and I get these from grow collaborative as well and they come in my box once a month and so I kind of stock up on these so that I can switch them out regularly throughout the week and now I'm gonna go ahead and get this kitchen ready as you can see I cleaned up the dishes but the kids came and I think they ate lunch so I had those drying on the side of the sink and now I'm just gonna get the living room and the kitchen floor together I go in regularly and spray the pillows down with Lysol because the kids when they're doing their homeschool during the week they like to lay on the floor and all kinds of crazy places and so I make sure I spray down with Lysol and I'm going back in with that Mrs. Myers peppermint spray the room spray to get the room smelling nice and fresh and this is the same spray that I used in the guest bedroom at the beginning so here it is the peppermint cleaner peppermint room spray so I love the way this one smells we have put a lot of decorating on hold and a lot of home decor on hold since the pandemic started we want to kind of conserve our resources but we will be getting back to doing a lot of decor items pretty soon and we actually did get something to add to the walls in here this week and my husband's going to be hanging that up at the end of the video so if you want to see what's going to happen to these room transformations i have some really cute ideas coming up i just have to find the time to get it all done you guys make sure you subscribe so you can be alerted anytime i add new videos and i'll be having some new decor and DIY projects coming at you guys pretty soon. And here is that Shark Rocket vacuum cleaner. Again, I can just change the attachments out on this pretty easily. And now I'm gonna put it back into sweeper mode. And this is the same one that I was using to clean out the vents and my regular vacuum cleaner. So I really like it and how it swivels and how versatile it is. I just have to make sure I clean the filters out regularly. But I really do like this one. I got it on sale, I think maybe a year or so ago during Christmas and we've been pretty satisfied with it. And I had to give you guys a shot of my oldest son actually doing the grass. He does cut the grass now. And so my husband showed him how to do it. And so once Eric showed him how to do it, now it's kind of up to him to do it on a regular basis. And I'm going to be giving you guys more shots of the kids and some of the chores that they have to do around the house. And so they clean up on Sundays and cut the grass. And here I am just filling up my mop bucket and I really do love now that I can do that in the kitchen with the extended spray handle that we have now. And I'm almost done with this cleaning day you guys. And I was really excited to get it almost done. I'm going to vacuum in here and get this front entryway mopped up. I don't mop that up as often as I really should. Usually when I'm done cleaning on Sundays after we do our Bible study and cleaning, it's almost time for me to cook dinner, but at least I got some deep cleaning done in the meantime. And so once this is done, I'm going to be fixing some cabbage rolls for dinner and I will post that on my Facebook page for sure. So if you're not subscribed to my Facebook page, make sure you do that. And I'm going to get the dinner started pretty soon, but I realized that we needed to hang these wall decor items. And so we moved the chair and there was more gunk behind here. And so it's nice to get this cleaned up. Now I feel like I want to move all the couches. And there we go, you guys. And so my spring cleaning for this week is done. The vents are done. I changed out the sheets in the guest bedroom. Also, make sure you get those filters for your AC units, batteries, 
for your smoke detectors or carbon monoxide detectors whatever you have you guys and switch out your purse so I had to make sure I switched out my purse to my spring purse that I bought last year and now it's time for dinner check out my Facebook page for the cabbage rolls I'll try to post it to YouTube as well I hope you enjoyed this video see you next time Mwah.